When you think of the Kentucky Derby, three things probably jump to mind horse racing, big hats, and the mint julep. This derby drink of choice appears in literature as early as 1784 as a sweet medicinal drink. However, its strong connection to Kentucky is thanks in part to U.S. Senator Henry Clay. It's been said that in the 18th century, Clay introduced the drink at the Round Robin Bar in the historic Willard Hotel in Washington, D.C. Of course, we also have the Kentucky Derby at the famous Churchill Downs to thank for bringing this regional drink to international attention. It's been estimated that about 120,000 juleps are served at Churchill over Derby weekend, with most of them served in Derby collectible glasses. Today, we're going to learn how to properly make a mint julep, the origins of the drink, and the history of the silver mint julep cup. There's no better place to start our journey than with the drink itself. Our first stop on the mint julep tour is with bartender Joy Perini at Equius Jack's Lounge in Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville bartending legend Joy Perini has over five decades of bartending experience and has been called the bad girl of bourbon for her unconventional and innovative bourbon cocktails. Perini is the co-author of the Kentucky Bourbon Cocktail Book and has won Louisville Magazine's Best Bartender and Best Cocktail Awards. She also happens to love a good mint julep and shares with us a few tips on how to make one. I'm here with Joy Perini and she's been working with Chef Dean Corbett for the last 28 years and you've been referred to as a Louisville bartending legend, and I thought you were the perfect person to come talk to about the mint julep. Well, it's that time of year, and uh, nothing I would rather talk about, mint juleps <laughs> and bourbon. Well, tell me about the mint julep. I know uh, I was reading a great article on you in Esquire magazine, and you talked about there's some important tips on how to kind of put those together. Mint julep is basically sugar, water, fresh mint, and when I say fresh mint, I mean spearmint, not peppermint, and uh, Kentucky bourbon. And then the spearmint, like you said, just has a more pleasing taste. Yes, uh, peppermint has a tendency to be very sharp, um, almost somewhat bitter, whereas spearmint is soft and, and a little bit on the sweet side. Well, good. Well, I'm interested in maybe seeing if you can make this mint julep for me. I would love to. Now that we know the importance of good bourbon in a mint julep cocktail, we continue our Kentucky julep journey with a Louisville bourbon historian. Michael Veach has studied the distilling industry for the last 20 years and was inducted into the Bourbon Hall of Fame in 2006. Veach is the author of Kentucky Bourbon Whiskey and American Heritage, which was praised by the Wall Street Journal. He also teaches classes at the Filson Historical Society's Bourbon Academy. Well, I'm here today with Michael Veach, and he is the bourbon historian at the Filson Historical Society. Tell me a little bit just about the history of kind of this drink and its Kentucky roots. Well, if you look at the Oxford Dictionary, they say that the julep, the word julep, comes from the Arabic julab, which means rose water. This kind of evolves over the years, and by the 1400s, it's being described as uh, a uh, syrup made with uh, water and sugar. In 1895, when the Grand Army of the Republic held their encampment here in Louisville, uh, there's a letter in the papers. The one guy describes it says that if you have a mint julep made with uh, 15 or 20 year old bourbon, that it is the nectar of the gods. <laughs> when you're coming over the mountains or down the Ohio River in the 1780s to Kentucky, when you went to a inn or something, for, you carried your own cup with you, and most of them were probably just like this, you know, mm -hmm. a stoneware or a pewter cup. Right. You would get your julep made in your own cup. As people began to prosper and such, uh, they would just still, they would still carry their cups, but they would update them to a silver cup. And that's where the traditional uh, silver cups come from. And I guess a great way to start your morning. I had no idea that it was kind of an eye-opener drink. Right. In the 1700s and early 1800s, people would drink their mint juleps as a way to get up and going. You know, this is a morning pick-me-up. Well, cheers to that. Yes. <laughs> Since its beginning in 1939, souvenir mint julep glasses from Churchill Downs have become a popular Kentucky Derby collectible. However, the drink has been served in traditional silver cups for hundreds of years and can be traced back to early American silversmiths. 
The silver mint julep cup also plays an important part in Kentucky Derby tradition. Typically, the governor of Kentucky will salute the victorious Derby owner with a toast and a silver mint julep cup. Our next stop is in Shelbyville at Wakefield Scarce Gallery, where we learn more about their handmade cups, which were inspired from the originals. They were made in Kentucky circa 1795 and have regional, national, and international connections. So I'm here today at Wakefield Scarce Galleries talking with Matt Burnett about your impressive mint julep collection. Yeah. I mean, there's lots of things here that are impressive, but I love the backstory on these cups. Tell me a little bit about the history. Well, the, these cups were made by my grandfather. Um, he started making them during the Harry Truman administration. And the reason why we would say the Truman administration because they're called presidential julep cups. We actually send a cup out to every president to say congratulations, and a lot of them have actually decided to, to use them. The presidential one is a sterling silver one. In the 80s, we started with a pewter cup, and it's stamped with the, uh, the governor's initials. I guess it doubles as a christening cup because you got an order for a christening cup as well for someone pretty high profile. That's right. It was a christening gift for the, uh, well, could be future king of England. Uh, That's right. The, the, the prince. Well, I love it because it really brings it back here to Kentucky, and yeah. I'm, I'm happy to have those connections yeah. back to the bluegrass state. Yeah. What a treat to travel today through the history of Kentucky's mint julep roots. Americans have enjoyed this cocktail since the 18th century, and it's been a classic beverage of choice at Churchill Downs for nearly a century. There are many historic connections to this iconic Kentucky beverage, even down to the way it's served. The mint julep, like Big Race Hats, have become synonymous with the Kentucky Derby. Even if you're not going to go to the Big Race this year, you can still get into the Derby spirit by raising a glass. Cheers to the mint julep. Thank you.